The ground keeps cracking and deforming. Life in Italy's the green volcanic fields. Photojournalist Alessandro Gandolfi has documented the Flegrean fields in southern Italy, where a record 6,740 earthquakes were recorded in 2024, and the tremors continued in 2025. The volcanic field has been active for more than 80,000 years. It is filled with craters, lakes, and fumaroles, as well as roads, factories, and homes to more than 600,000 people. In the square in Monterecello, a few kilometers from Pozzuoli, 12-year-old Angelo Di Roberto climbs onto a civil defense bus with his grandfather. None of my school friends wanted to come along, but I did, he says. It seemed like the right thing to do. He's right, it matters. Authorities are simulating a large-scale evacuation, which they would have to do in the event of a volcanic eruption in the seismically active Campi Flegre, or Flegrian fields, near the southern Italian city of Naples. Everyone in the vast volcanic region hopes it never happens, but the signs are ominous. Since January 2024, the land in certain parts of the Phlegrean fields has risen about 20 centimeters, 8 inches, as a result of a phenomenon called Bradyseism, the gradual uplift or subsidence of part of the Earth's surface caused by the filling or emptying of an underground magma chamber or hydrothermal activity, especially in volcanic calderas. Earthquakes continue to be recorded almost daily. There were 6,066 earthquakes in 2023 and 6,740 in 2024. They continue to occur in 2025, causing anxiety and fear that led many people to spend the night in their cars or outdoors. The most powerful earthquake to hit the area in four decades shook buildings in and around Naples earlier this month. Every year, 700,000 tourists climb to the summit of Mount Vesuvius to admire one of the world's most beautiful bays. But if you look west, beyond Foragrata, you'll catch a glimpse of another little-known volcano, the Flagran Fields, a giant caldera home to more than 600,000 people. Much like the large number of people who live around Vesuvius, the population density makes the entire area one of the most dangerous on Earth. The supervolcano erupts every 50,000 years on average, an event that is difficult to predict but has the potential for catastrophic consequences. At the Pisciarelli Fumarole, Rosario Avino and Antonio Caradente a technician from the National Institute of Geophysics and Volcanology INGV, arrive in the early evening. The sun is setting, smoke is billowing from the fissures, and the boiling mud river is turning a reddish hue. They, they check the sensors installed to monitor the Solfatara, a shallow volcanic crater in Pozzoli, and before leaving the site, they peered into an abandoned building. There, the walls were covered with a yellowish crust of sulfur, that was slowly but surely penetrating the walls and floors. Get out immediately because the carbon dioxide levels are very high and could be dangerous, shouted Rosario. The ground continues to crack and deform, explained Mauro De Vito, director of the INGV Vesuvius Observatory, and the accumulation of pressure produces earthquakes. However, this is an expected phenomenon, and it is very likely that earthquakes will continue to occur. We must all get used to reacting in a positive way, without panicking. We scientists cannot rule out anything. Our job is to monitor and measure the parameters. The Flagran fields are among the most monitored volcanoes in the world, designed to detect the slightest signs of an impending awakening sooner or later. There are emergency plans for mass evacuations, but will they work? If the supervolcano really erupts, will anyone be left behind? 